Om Shanti. This is the Sakar Merli of the 14th of June 2024. Essence. Sweet children, constantly remember that our Baba is the Father, the Teacher and also the Sat Guru. To remember this means to be man, man above. Question. What is the first mistake you make when the dust of Maya gets in your eyes? Answer. The first mistake that Maya has you make is that you stop studying. You forget that God is teaching you. It is a wonder that the father's own children stop studying the father's teachings. This knowledge is such that you should constantly be dancing with internal happiness. However, the influence of Maya is no less. She makes you stop studying. To stop studying means to be absent. Om Shanti The spiritual father sits here and explains to you spiritual children. Explanations are given to those who have less understanding. Some become very sensible. You children know that Baba is so wonderful. While you are sitting here, you understand internally that your unlimited Baba is also your unlimited teacher. He gives you unlimited teachings. He explains the secrets of the beginning, the middle and the end of the world. This should remain in the intellects of you students and he will then definitely take you back with him. The father knows that this is an old and dirty world and that the children have to be taken away from here. Where to? Back home. For instance, when a Kumari gets married, her in-laws come and take her to their home. You are now sitting here. Baba explains that it must definitely emerge inside you children, that it is our unlimited father who gives us unlimited teachings. The greater the Baba, the greater the teachings he gives. The secrets of the beginning, the middle and the end of creation are also in the intellects of you children. You understand that the father will take us back home from this dirty world. To remember this internally also means to be man, man above. This should remain in your intellects as you walk as you move and as you sit. You remember the things that are wonderful. You understand that by studying well and staying in remembrance, you will become the masters of the world. This should definitely be turning around in your intellects. First of all, you have to remember the Father and afterwards you find the teacher. You children understand that that is your unlimited spiritual father. Baba shows you the way to have easy remembrance. Constantly remember me alone. It is through this remembrance that your sins of half a cycle will be absolved. You have been doing devotion, penance and tapasya, etc. for birth after birth in order to become pure. People go to the temples and perform devotion and they believe that they have been doing that since the beginning of time. Ask them when they started to listen to the scriptures and they will reply, since the beginning of time. Human beings don't know anything. There are no scriptures in the golden age. 
You children should be amazed about this. No one except the Father can explain these things. That one is the Father, the Teacher and the Sat Guru. That one is our Baba. He does not have a mother or father. No one can say that Shiv Baba is someone's child. Your intellect should repeatedly remember these things. This is man man above. The teacher is teaching you, but he himself has not learnt this from anyone. No one has taught him. He is knowledgeful. He is the seed of the human world tree. He is the ocean of knowledge. Because of being a living being, he is able to tell you everything. He says, Children, I explain to you all the secrets of everything from the beginning until now through this one whom I have entered. You will be told about the end later on. At that time you will also understand that the end is about to come. You will also have reached your karmatite stage number wise. You will also see the signs of all of that too. The old world definitely has to be destroyed. You have seen this many times and you will continue to see it. You are studying in the same way as you did in the previous cycle. You claimed your kingdom and then lost it and you are now claiming it again. The father is teaching you once again. It is very easy. You children understand that you truly were the masters of the world. Baba has come and is giving you this knowledge. Baba gives you advice. These are the things that should be going on inside you. Baba is our father as well as our teacher. Can the teacher ever be forgotten? You continue to study with the teacher. Maya causes some children to make many mistakes. It is as though she puts dust in their eyes and stops them from studying. God is teaching and yet they renounce such a study. This study is the main thing and yet who is it that stops studying? The father's children. The children should have so much happiness inside them. The father gives you knowledge of everything and he gives it to you every cycle. The father says, at least remember me in this way. It is you who understand and imbibe this knowledge cycle after cycle. That one does not have a father. He is the unlimited father and so he is the wonderful father. Tell me, do I have a father? Whose child is Shiv Baba? This study is so wonderful that it cannot be studied at any time other than at this time and it is only Brahmins who study it. You also know that it is by remembering the Father that you gradually become pure. Otherwise you will have to experience punishment. A great deal of punishment has to be experienced in the jail of a womb. There the tribunal will sit and you will receive visions of everything. None of you can be given punishment without first being given a vision of what you did. Otherwise you would become confused as to why you are being punished. The father knows which ones have committed which particular sins and made those mistakes. 
He gives you visions of everything you have done. At that time it feels as though you are being punished for the sins of so many births. It is as though you lose the prestige of all those births. Therefore the father says, Sweetest children, you have to make very good efforts. Make effort to have remembrance in order to become 16 celestial degrees full. Check yourselves to see whether you cause sorrow for anyone. We are the children of the Father, the bestower of happiness. We have to become very beautiful. It is this study that will go with you. People become barristers, etc. by studying. This Father's knowledge is the truth and is unique and this Pandov government is incognito. No one apart from you can understand this. This study is wonderful. It is you souls that listen to it. The father repeatedly tells you, never stop studying. Maya makes you stop studying. The father says, don't do this, don't stop studying. Baba receives all the reports. He understands from the register how many days someone has been absent. When someone stops studying, he also forgets the father. In fact, he is not someone who can be forgotten. That one is the wonderful father. He explains as though it is a play. When someone is told about a play, he is able to remember it very easily. He would never forget it. This one also shares his experience. Even at a very young age, he used to have thoughts of disinterest. He used to say, There is so much sorrow in this world. If only I could get 10,000 rupees, I would then be able to get 50 rupees interest and that would be enough to allow me to remain free. It is very difficult to look after a home and business. Acha. Then Baba saw a film called Sobhagya Sundri, The Fortunate Beautiful Woman, and then all the previous thoughts of disinterest were lost. He began to have thoughts of marrying and doing this and that. Maya slapped him just once and everything was lost. Therefore the father now says, This world is the depths of hell and within this, those films and the cinema are also the depths of hell. Everyone's attitude is spoiled by watching them. When men read newspapers and see pictures of beautiful women, their attitudes are drawn to them and they have thoughts in their intellects. This one is very beautiful. In fact, you should not have those thoughts. Baba says, this very world is going to be destroyed. This is why you must forget everything else and constantly remember me alone. Why do you look at such pictures, etc.? All of those things only degrade your attitude. All of those things you see are going to be buried in the graveyard. Do not remember anything that you see with those eyes. Remove your attachment from them. All of these bodies are old and dirty. Although you souls are becoming pure, your bodies are still dirty. And so, why do you want to pay attention to them? You should only look at the Father. The Father says, Sweetest children, the destination is very high. 
No one else can even try to become a master of the world. This cannot even enter anyone else's intellect. The influence of Maya is no less. The intellects of scientists work a great deal. However, yours is silence. Everyone wants to attain liberation, but your aim is to attain liberation in life. The father has also explained this. Gurus, etc. cannot give this knowledge. While living at home with your families, remain pure and claim the kingdom. You have wasted a great deal of time on the path of devotion. You now understand how many mistakes you made. While making mistakes, you became senseless and became those with stone intellects. Internally, you feel that this knowledge is very wonderful and that you will become something great through it from being nothing. You change from having stone intellects to being those with divine intellects. Therefore, since your Baba is the unlimited Baba, your mercury of happiness should rise. He does not have a father. He is also your teacher and he does not have a teacher. People ask, whom has this one learnt from? They wonder about this. Many think that he must have learnt this from a guru. If that were so, that guru would have had other disciples too. Would he have had only one disciple? A guru has many disciples. Just see how many disciples the Aga Khan has. Those people have so much regard for their guru that they weigh him against diamonds. What would you weigh the Sat Guru against? That one is the unlimited Sat Guru. How much does he weigh? Not even as much as one diamond. You children should think about such things. This is a very subtle matter. Even though everyone says, O oh God, they don't know that he is the father, the teacher and the guru. This one is sitting in an ordinary way. The reason why he sits on a gaddy is so that he can see everyone's face. He has love for you children. Establishment cannot take place without the help of you children. The children who help more would surely be loved more. A child who earns a great deal will definitely claim a high status and there is also greater love for him. Baba becomes pleased on seeing you children. The soul is very pleased. I am pleased to see you children every cycle. It is you children who become helpers every cycle. You are loved a great deal. This love is forged cycle after cycle. No matter where you are sitting, let there be remembrance of the Father in your intellects. That one is your unlimited Father. He does not have a father or a teacher. He himself is everything, the one whom everyone remembers. No one will remember him in the golden age. Your boat is going across for 21 births and so you should experience so much happiness. Just do the father's service throughout the day, that's all. Give the introduction of such a father to everyone. You can receive this inheritance from the father. The father is teaching us Raja Yoga and he also takes everyone back with him. 
The whole cycle is in your intellects. No one else can create such a cycle. No one understands its meaning. You now understand that Baba is your unlimited Baba and that he also gives you the unlimited kingdom and that he will also take you back with him. If you explain in this way, no one would say that God is omnipresent. He is the father and the teacher, and so how could he be omnipresent? The unlimited father is knowledgeful. He knows the beginning, the middle and the end of the whole world. The father explains to the children, Don't forget this study. This is the greatest study. Baba is the Supreme Father, the Supreme Teacher and also the Supreme Guru. He will take all of those Gurus back too. You should relate such wonderful things. Tell them that this is an unlimited play. Each actor has received his own part. You claim the unlimited kingdom from the unlimited father. You are the masters of the world. Paradise did exist and it will definitely exist again. Sri Krishna was the master of the new world. It is now the old world and he will definitely become the master of the new world. This is clearly shown in the picture. You now know that your feet are towards hell and that your face is towards heaven. This is what you remember. By remembering this, your final thoughts will lead you to your destination. These are such beautiful things and you have to remember them. Acha. To the sweetest beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children and the spiritual children say Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence Vedana 1. Remove any attachment from everything you see with your eyes. Only look at the one Father. In order to purify your attitude, don't let your attention be drawn even slightly to dirty bodies. 2. Study well and also teach this unique and true knowledge that the Father teaches you. Never miss this study. Blessing. May you be a soul who experiments with the power of peace and easily achieves success in every task. Now, according to the changing times, you should become a soul who experiments by using the means of the power of peace. Just as you create feelings of cooperation in souls with words of love, in the same way, stabilize yourself in the stage of having good wishes and feelings of love and create elevated feelings in them. Just as a lamp can ignite another lamp, in the same way, Your powerful good wishes will create the most elevated feelings in others. With this power, you can very easily achieve success in your physical tasks. Simply experiment and see for yourself. Slogan In order to be loved by all, become a rose in bloom. Do not wilt. Om Shanti